I have spoken to many people who have gone through bouts of deep sadness and depression, including myself. And the one thing I know that if it wasn't for God and me seeking him and me staying in the word, I would not be here today talking with you guys. Do I still battle depression and sadness? Of course I do, but nothing more than anybody else. And it's because of my devotion to God and my, my, my passion to stay in the word and to learn more. Because the more I learn, the more my heart fills with God. So today, I'm going to give you seven verses that I want all of you Christians to read whenever you're feeling a deep sadness. And that's what's coming up. Hey everyone, my name is Chuck McGee, and thank you so much for tuning in to Sharing the Word of God, where we uplift and encourage everyone, and we never take our hearts, minds, and eyes off of God. If you are suffering from sadness or even depression, I found seven awesome verses in the Bible that I encourage you today to read. So let's get going with verse one. In Psalms it says, the Lord is near the brokenhearted, and saves the ones with crushed spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. The fact is, is that when we are going through the sadness and the depression and that we feel completely crushed, that is when God is nearest to us. He is always near the brokenhearted and always saves the crushed in spirit. And even if we have many afflictions, God will deliver us out of them in due time. Verse 2, Psalm says, Cast your burdens onto the Lord. He will sustain you, and he will never permit the righteous to be moved. Imagine you carrying around a ball and chain, and this ball and chain went everywhere where you went. It became a terrible burden. It'll slow you down and made everything harder and limited you to what everything that you wanted to do. Why not cast this heavy burden onto the strong shoulders of God? He can carry any weight because he is God. Verse three, Peter says, casting all of your anxieties on him because he cares for you. This verse is very similar to the verse I just read to you, but we cast our anxieties onto him because he cares for you. No one needs to carry what they never intended to carry alone. So we must all fall to our knees and offer this up to the Lord. He wants us to give these troubles over to him. He cares for us and he knows that we cannot carry all of these anxieties with our own strength. Verse number four, Isaiah says, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. Here is evidence that God has carried our griefs and our sorrows. These griefs and sorrows surely include our anxieties and our fears and our burdens. This verse actually refers to our redemption through Jesus, atoning sacrifice, but Part of this refers to our relationship with him where he takes on what we simply cannot take on by ourselves. Why not trust him to help us? Verse 5, Psalm says, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them all out of their troubles. Nothing escapes God and his attention, so we can all rely on the fact that he can hear our cries for help. But the point is, we must cry out for help. God helps those who cannot help themselves. And when we do cry out for help, we can be certain that, that the Lord does hear us and will deliver us all out of our troubles. Verse six, Joshua, have I not commanded you? Be strong, be courageous, be not frightened, and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That is one of my favorite verses because Every single one of us 
has a time of weakness. We all need to be encouraged and strengthened. Some of our troubles are so big that we are afraid and dismayed. But the Lord our God is with us wherever we go. So take that verse, meditate on it, memorize it, and tuck it deep within your heart. Besides, he has commanded us to be strong and courageous and not be frightened or dismayed because, again, God is with us wherever we go. Verse 7, Psalm says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod, your staff, they comfort me. Taken from Psalms, we know God goes with us through the valleys of life where there is darkness and shadows of death, even with self-inflicted times of thought of death. The fact is, these are just shadows and not death itself. God doesn't keep us from these valleys, nor does he promise to take us around them. But he does say that he goes with us through those valleys so that we are not alone. The conclusion? There are many afflictions that the righteous will endure. But just know this one thing. He is near the crushed and the brokenhearted. We can cast our burdens upon him and he will sustain us. We can cast our anxieties onto him because he does care for us even though we don't see him. He carries our griefs, our sorrows, if we permit him to. He wants us to cry out to him for help because he promises us that he will deliver us out of our troubles. We can be strong and courageous and have no need for fear or be dismayed because he is with us. And even if the long dark nights in the valley should cast a shadow of death, he still goes through them with us. We should never be afraid. We should always know that God is with us, always. The best way to fight sadness and even suicide is to stay in the word of God. His promises will help us endure us during these times. If you stay in long periods of sadness and contemplate suicide, I want you to please seek help immediately. There is no need to go through this alone. Remember, God wants us to cry out to him. He wants you to seek godly counsel from others, even if it means seeking medical help. He loves you. He's always there for you. Cry out to him. Fall to your knees and tell him that you need him. That's what he wants. I shared this video with you today because I have gone through these issues years ago and through the many days and the many weeks and the many months and the many years of constantly staying in the word and surrounding myself around good people, my life has been rebuilt by God. And I want the same for you. I want you to know that he is always there for you. Trust in him. Open that Bible. Read these verses that I put down. Read the Bible. Stay in the Bible. Talk to other people about the Bible. It will help you grow. It will put all the pieces back in the right places of your life. Question of the day. Have you suffered from deep sadness and depression? And how did you handle it? I would love to hear your thoughts and comments, so please leave your comments in the uh, comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.